What up, YouTube? Business Vapor got another review for you today, and it's one I've been kind of waiting to do, man. It's on the Indestructible RDA by Wismec and Jabo Designs. The Indestructible RDA was sent to me from Vape Society Supply for the purpose of this review. It's not going to change my opinion of this product in this review, okay? So I'm not going to dive down on this review. There's a lot of reviews out there on this RDA. I'm going to give you my taste, my opinion, my pros and cons, the specifications, everything else. We're just not going to dive down. I'm going to show you it up on FaceTime because like you guys previously said, there's been a lot of reviews out on this, so if there is a lot of reviews out on one, I will not go down low to save you guys trouble. Some specifications on the indestructible RDA. The dimensions are 22 millimeters in diameter, it's 36 millimeters in height. It's constructed of 303 stainless steel, innovative top cap design, airflow washer, adjustable quad, three millimeter airflow on both sides. Vortex flow sloped air holes. There's single and dual coil capabilities for airflow in this. Enlarged offset air hole cluster. Signature JBO side airflow. Open system post terminals. Enlarged Cyclops style center post. Deck milled into the negative posts. Shelf style terminals. Crazy. Deep juice well. That's accurate. Peak insulator. That's accurate. Gold plated 510 connection. CNC engraved base. What it comes with is a top cap, mouthpiece, whatever, airflow washer, airflow base sleeve, atomizer base, Phillips screws, hexagon screws, and three seal rings. It's $24.99 on vapesocietysupply.com's website. This is a collaboration between Jabo and Wismec, just like the uh, RX200 or the Rollo uh, DNA200 or the Noisy Cricket that I have on it, series unregulated box mod that I just did a review on. It's in the cards up here if you have not, if, if you have not seen it, okay? And I've been really enjoying this RDA. So let me give you some vape production. I got some pretty fresh batteries charged in this bad boy, some MXJOs, okay? I got a, a 0.3 ohm around a three millimeter drill bit uh, fused Clapton's on this, dual fused Clapton's. Comes out to a 0.3 like I previously said. And this is my favorite build for a series box mod. I also will be re reviewing that Tai T though. E juice. Uh, I purchased. I purchased this from VapeSocietySupply.com as well. They have this in stock. I will be going over this at the end of the RDA review. I will try to put a timestamp in the description for whoever is interested in just the e juice. I'm trying to get the timestamp thing down so you click it and it goes to it, but I, I don't really know how to do it yet. If you guys know how to do it, <laughs> leave in the comments for me so I can put it in there. So uh, it's definitely going to come in this box, okay? You are going to get additional, it's going to be in the bottom, uh, screws and O-rings. Definitely a good presentation. Definitely been enjoying it. Um, it has airflow on the side, okay? It has uh, three two millimeter post holes, airflow holes on each side. Okay, it says JBO on it. Also has single airflow, a little different. And then it has airflow on the top. It's just like the uh, vector comp cap. You unscrew it, this pops off, and then you have this ring. You have this ring on there. It has four two millimeter post holes on top. And you just line it up whatever airflow that you want and you screw it on all right so that's how the top airflow works you can take off the the AFC ring and turn it to block off holes if you want to close down some of this airflow as well 
That's obviously closed off on its own. Really good flavor on this IDA and really good vapor production, I must say. The tolerances to the O-rings on the bottom are perfect. They're not too loose, they're not too tight, they're perfect to take it off and on. The airflow on the top when you screw it down, it, it really doesn't move. I had a problem on the other one that I had on the Vector, but this one doesn't have any problems. Um, once you tighten that down, it doesn't move or anything. It stays in place. I like the chuff top. It's about 9 millimeters or 10 millimeters in, in diameter. One thing that I wish that they did do with it is that they had some, like maybe the, the, the turning piece was Delrin. Uh, because it's all stainless steel and the heat will transfer to the drip tip. It has some heat sink fins, but they don't really work, especially on a series. If you're doing really sub ohm builds, it's going to get hot on you, okay, if you're chain vaping it. It doesn't get super hot, but it does get hot, okay? Um, if you're not really going super low on sub ohm, it, it won't get hot on you, all right? I just want to, it needs to be mentioned. I don't want to let you know about that. And now, it's not super airy when you have it wide open. I have it wide open right now because I have it on a series, but uh, it's perfect on a series to be wide open. I think it was specifically made for this setup. I mean, it's just awesome. The post holes inside of it. Um, I'll put a picture on screen now. So as you can see on the, the post holes, you have two hex screws for the positive and then you have a Phillips head on the negative, and it's not like holes that they go into. It's kind of like wide open, which I do like because you can get bigger builds in it. And it's wide open on the top as well, but the hex screws just come down. So you're gonna have to have two different sets of, uh, of you're gonna have to have the Allen key for the top positive ones, and then you're gonna need a Phillips screw, screwdriver for the negative ones. That's a con to me. I don't like how they did that. I wish they were all hex or all Phillips because you're using two different tools. I don't like that. It's just kind of a pain in the ass. The negative ones on the side that are open, it's hard to get you, sometimes it's difficult to get your leads trapped because it can move out depending on what type of uh, coil that you have in there. And you want that screw to, to go completely down, straight down on the wire that you're using. So, I know it's kind of tough to explain, but, uh, you know, that's a little, I've had some problems with that. Um, not specifically the positive ones. You just screw it down, it clamps down. But then once those are clamped down to go into the negative, depending on how wide your coil is, if you, if you have a small coil, um, you'll definitely have a tough time getting it in and keeping it clamped down. But if you have a perfect diameter of a coil that goes from the positive to the negative if that diameter is perfect you won't have too many problems i just need to mention that that needs to be mentioned um it's been it's been difficult at times it's like flat down on something and then having a screw come down having it open you know on basically one side so it can like slide out there's a lot of room but it's just sometimes it can be difficult to, to trap the lead down flavor is awesome vape production is great that's the only issues I've been having with this IDA, guys. If you're a type of builder that builds a lot, uh, you'll eventually get used to it and get accustomed to it. Uh, but if you don't build a lot, you know, once you get a, a good build in there, you, you're pretty much good to go. But just be conscious of that. I just wish they did something different. But the performance on this IDA definitely outweighs that con. I, I definitely like the chuff top. Um, I love the design of it. I like the looks of it. It's an overall great IDA, and uh, I, I've really been enjoying it, guys. I definitely recommend you guys to go snag this IDA. I've been using this IDA more and more and more. If you got the Noisy Cricket, definitely pick up this IDA, man, especially for $25 right now. Are you kidding me? For an authentic, huge, huge in my book. I think he did a great job on it, regardless of the cons. That I've mentioned. Definitely adjustable 510. 24 karat gold plated, very conductive. Highly, I highly, highly recommend it. This IDA gets two thumbs up from me. 
Double stamp of approval, man. This this is a go-to IDA for me, man. You can find this IDA and the easiest I'm going to go over at www.vapesocietysupply.com. Link on screen and description. You can get this set up right here for like 50 bucks. Next, we're going to be going over is that Thai tea, though. It comes in 30 mils, max VG, 0, 3, and 6 milligrams of nicotine. It's an 80-20 VG-PG ratio. So I'm going to read you the description. That Thai tea, though, is the take on tea shop beverage. It's a rich and creamy blend of sweet milk, oriental tea, and sugar. That Thai tea, though, is flavor that we've never seen, but you sure will love it. I'm going to give you inhale, exhale, flavor, vapor, and throw it in a 1 to 5 scale. 5 being a competition juice, all day vape, or a kick to the throat. You want to see a 3 in an all day vape for throat hit. I love this stuff, guys. Now, I know you guys are asking. I know you guys are asking. First of all, before I even talk about that, I love this stuff so much. If you see up here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, I bought 120 mils. I went through the first 30 mil bottle of this in literally one day. This isn't like Jazzy Bubba, all right? Jazzy Bubba, I love that shit as well. This is milkier, creamier, sweeter. Nah, about as sweet. As sweet as Jazzy Bubba. I can vape this shit all fucking day. It's an all day vape. Throat hit on three milligram is perfect. You don't get anything. It's very creamy, very milky. If you like milky, creamy vapes like I do, I love my milky, creamy vapes. You're gonna love this stuff, guys. You're gonna love it. It is one of my, it's one of my favorite juices of all times. It's right up there with Jazzy Bubba. The Oriental Spice, it, it, it's a background note. The milk, the sugar, the creaminess is up front. I actually wish they brought up the spice more. This is a home run. They knocked this shit out of the park. This is in the bag. You get that sugar on your lips. This gets a six out of a five on flavor. It's made by Marina Vape. Highly recommend the juice. Highly recommend the IDA. That's what I got for you today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. I give you content on a daily basis. And remember, squad, stay juiced up, and I'll catch you on the next one.